Hey guys, so I haven't done a book review in a while. I know I did one way back when, and there have been some books that I've had to catch up on and that I also really like as reference guides. So I want to be able to share some of them with you and I'll also include them in the description below. And if you ever want to see some of the books that I'm reading, I actually put them in my Amazon store account, which you'll also see a link below. So you could always refer to those. But the first one on the list I got from Jana Milbacher, and this is The Garden Tourist, which is 120 destination gardens and nurseries in the Northeast, which this is a great almanac or reference guide because you know on Plant One On Me, I do a lot of garden and nursery tours and you have you know, places like Logie's Gardens in here, which we've already been to and, um, and a number of others, and some that are really off the beaten path and all within the Northeast United States, which I know some of you probably this is not a, a good reference guide for because you might be on the West Coast or you might be in a different country. But when travel gets back up and running, you know, it's one of those things that you really want to be able to go and see. And you know what, even during the pandemic, a lot of our botanic gardens have remained open. Maybe not some of the conservatories and the greenhouses where we spend a lot of the time, but some of the outdoor spaces are going to be are open now and in the spring and summer months um, will actually remain open and will be wonderful places to be able to get out of your house and go and see. So, you know, the New York Botanic Gardens, the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens, it's all in here. And the Margaret Roach Garden, the Crane Estate, I mean, there's so many different ones and some really lush images. So again, the Garden Tourist, really great one to be able to dive into. And some of the photos there also give you a lot of inspiration for perhaps landscaping and design if you have a backyard. So there you go. Then the next one is Root, Nurture and Grow. And this one is a perfect one for if you are going to be propagating your plants. I found this to be a really lovely reference guide and it is actually quite visual as well. So it gives you these real how-tos depending on the type of propagation that you might be doing, whether it's like a leaf cutting or whether you're doing a tip cutting and it gives you some really good propagation ideas. And again, the, the pictures are beautiful. I'd say Instagram worthy. <laughs> Um, and I think that this actually is a, a borderline book for having as a nice coffee table reference guide. You know, cause like I said, it's just like really beautiful luxe photos, really nice paper quality, really good print quality as well. So they did a very nice overall uh, job on this book. The next one on my list is by my friend Leslie Halleck and this is Gardening Under Lights. Now. This could get technical in some areas for those who want to know a little bit more about how plants and light interact and how to read light in your home. And I like the fact that it gets a little bit more technical, but even though it gets technical, you could still easily understand because of the way that Leslie writes. And she's very good at being able to share some more technical aspects of this book in easy to understand language. And she talks also beyond light and how light interacts with plants and like air circulation and water, et cetera, et cetera. And she gets, uh, I would say, deep in the weeds. And I've only scanned through this book. I haven't read it cover to cover. And that's what I do a lot with my plant books. I often don't just like pick up a plant book and read it from cover to cover. And most of these are really great reference guides um, or something, like I said, that could borderline on a coffee table book. This I would say is more of like a reference guide and, uh, and there really isn't anything out there that, that talks about light and plants in your home in such great detail. So I would say that this is probably the best book on the market for that. Okay, the next one on my list is one that I hadn't gotten to for quite some time, but Plant Tribe, Living Happily Ever After with Plants. And this one I think goes into that mix of books that makes a really good coffee table book. And again, uh, features a lot of people in their homes with plants. So I think we've seen a lot of books that have hit the market like that, where it has these inspirational images of, of people who have set up their apartments or homes or patios into places that are really lush 
and plant worthy. So that's the core of this book is people living with plants. And there are some sections in there where you could glean some tips, but a lot of the tips you'll be gleaning by the people who actually are living with plants in, um, in their homes. So there's some good friends that you have in here. So this is Alina. We actually have featured some of her art in one of the makeovers that we did at 111 Montgomery. And she's there with her anthurium, which is looking really lush. So again, really nice coffee table book. And again, if you want some inspiration for plants in your home, you can look for the Plant Tribe book that's out there. Okay, another one, which is an older book, is called The Botanical Bible. And this is by Sonia. And Sonia actually reviewed my book as well. And I was really taken aback by the amount of work and research that must have gone into the Botanical Bible. And this is basically like the granddaddy of plant books. It has a little bit of everything in it. It has like natural history, it has recipes, it has like a history of illustration, it has what plants are. I mean, it, it's got a little, like I said, of everything and the artwork and the cultural references are really beautiful. So again, really nice coffee table book, but a place where you could go for inspiration, kind of making me hungry right now because it's approaching lunchtime and I'm seeing some of the recipes like pop in here. But um, she, Sonia's come out with a couple more books already, so you have to kind of look into those. I haven't actually gotten any of her newer books, but the Botanical Bible, very beautiful, and I have it displayed on one of my shelves as well. So again, like I said, good coffee table book. Finally, the biggest of them all, and the oldest, is Hortica. And this is by Alfred Bird Graf, and he was a famous, I believe, German botanist. And he worked in, uh, as the botanist in a uh, nursery in New Jersey, and he brought in tons and tons of new and interesting plants to the commercial market. So a lot of philodendrons, a lot of anthuriums, a lot of interesting interior plants that we love and know today. And look, whenever you put plants that you've sourced in a book, most times those scientific names are going to change. But I would say Hortica is an expensive book, but it's worthwhile because it literally has colored photos of most, I would say, both exterior and interior plants, and just such a wonderful resource. And even if the scientific names have changed, what's nice about it is that there are synonyms as well. So you could actually then reference what the, the latest scientific name is. You could even write in the margins what the latest scientific name is. But as soon as you write something in the margin, you know that the scientific name is going to change again. So I love looking at this book because it gives you a little bit of a brief history of plants and actually shows you some of the things that have become popular again um, over several decades. So I would say that this is such a treasure to have this book. There's not many, I think, available. If you find this in a, an older kind of rare book or maybe you could find it on Amazon, maybe there's more out there than when I was looking. But Highly recommend. They also have some smaller versions. You can see how thick this is. Whoop. So you can see how thick this is, and it is really heavy as well. So it's not like something you're going to be transporting in your uh, messenger bag uh, from going from place to place. But highly recommend if you could get your hands on one of these. And uh, like I said, all these others, very good. The Botanical Bible, a little less thick than that Hortica one. Plant Tribe, again, another nice coffee table book with some inspiration of people living with plants. Gardening Under Lights by Leslie, and again, really great reference guide for understanding lights and how your plants interact with them. Root, Nurture, Grow, good propagation guide. And The Garden Tourist for when we all go back traveling again and wanna see some really cool nurseries and botanical gardens. All right, guys, well, those are some more books for you during these pandemic times. So you could go and read and have a little bit more inspiration for what plants that you may want to grow both indoors and out. All right, bye, guys.